hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on the nigga finger, little bitch. Ooh. I done flew one out to Spain to be in my domain and all them other bitches. Give me a rundown on what we got out here, man. Which one you want to start with? So the truck that started it all is Black Box. Black Box. All right, we want to start with it. Cadillac Escalade. Uh, aftermarket headlights. Window tint all the way around, including the windshield. Mm -hmm. It's like 25, 25%, I think, tint mm -hmm. on the side windows. And the windshield is actually 30% tint. Mm -hmm. uh, 26 inch uh, wheels, the tires, 295, 35, 26. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. You put me on the spot. Man. <laughs> I wasn't expecting right. you to have to talk. <laughs> so give me the rundown, man. How you, how you even um, acquired this truck? So how about this truck? I bought this truck because um, I had, well, I have two sons. Mm -hmm. And at the time- That's one right there, y'all. That's, that's one right there. At the time, um, had a, well, two sons and a daughter. Mm -hmm. And had another daughter on the way. Mm -hmm. So we needed a bigger vehicle because for vehicles, we had a 05 Pontiac Grand Am four-door in a 2010 Volkswagen Jetta. Mm -hmm. And we were thinking, man, it's gonna be kind of tough to try to get all these kids around in something with just, you know, the seats fire. Right. What if all the kids are at the house at one time? So right. we thought it would be better to have a, a vehicle with a third row seat. Mm -hmm. So that's what ended up happening was I went to go, I really went to go get a Suburban. Mm -hmm. But when I got to the dealership that the Suburban was at, uh, the Suburban wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were actually buffing, waxing and buffing this truck. It had a set of 22s on it at the time, some 22 inch Ultras, which I got a couple of pictures of what the truck looked like when it started, when I started with it. Mm -hmm. uh, walked up to the truck and asked, is this truck for sale? And the guy said, yeah, it is. So. I looked at the mileage. I liked the mileage that was on the truck. Um, I didn't know how many miles was on the Suburban. Right. I just asked the guy, I said, well, did you sell the Suburban? He said, no, the Suburban is out on the test drive. Mm -hmm. The Suburban actually had 230,000 miles on it. it. It had a lot of miles on it. Uh, a few too many. <clears throat> it, this truck only had 132,000 miles on it. Brand new truck. And it was in 2013. And what year is this? It's an 02. Mm -hmm. So. I ain't bad neither. Goddamn. No, it's an 11 year old truck. It had 130,000 miles on it. Uh, bought it. It had some little issues like the AC needed to be charged. Mm -hmm. The windows on the passenger side didn't roll down. Mm -hmm. uh, the radio worked, but the CD player didn't work. The cassette player didn't work. Mm -hmm. um, little things. Little knickknacks. Yeah. The truck needed a starter, but I didn't find that out until after I bought it. Um, and it just, it, it went from there. It, it started out as just a, it's still a daily driver, but right. it started as a daily driver. 
Uh, and a project. Not really a project. It started just, just, just getting it drivable and, you know, you not having to worry about anything, you know, that need to be done, done to it. Just getting the little knickknacks out of the way. Hell I wasn't even worried about that. I just kept a hammer in the front oh, just seat. just in case you had to tap the starter. Uh, it was many times I had to crawl <laughs> up on there and tap the starter. I know that was One day I had to do it at Arby's in the rain. Ooh. Uh, one day I was getting out of class and I was on campus and just so happened it was, it wouldn't start. And it was a young lady that was getting ready to get into her car parked next to mine. And I said, excuse me, ma'am, I, I got a weird question for you. She said, what? I said, my truck won't start and I got to hit the starter with a hammer. I said, can you just hold the ignition switch to the start position while I tap the starter? She gave me that look like. <laughs> I said, ma'am, it would be a blessing if you would help me. All I need you to do is just turn the switch. So she held the switch and I got up under it and tapped the starter and started it up. Started up. And uh, I think that was the last day that I did that. I went and bought a starter on my way home. I drove this truck like that for, I think I drove the truck like six months to a year <laughs> with it needing a starter and I just got tired of it. Right. So the transfer case went out in the truck due to me being an idiot and playing in the snow. <laughs> um, it was worth it though, cause I bet you had fun. I had a lot of fun. Matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, we will show you the picture of the truck in the snow bit, when bit. the snow started. Um, it doesn't really snow here. But when it does, when it does, it snows. It snows. So played in the in the snow with the truck, tore the transfer case up, replaced the transfer case. The transfer well, after replacing the front end, because the transfer case ate the front end. Mm -hmm. Got the front end replaced. And then the transfer case ate the new front end. Mm -hmm. And when that's when I realized it was transfer case. So replaced the transfer case. Docked it up the front end, drove it. Then a couple months later, the fuel pump went out. It sat for two months, replaced the fuel pump, then it drove it. <laughs> and then um, four months after replacing the fuel pump, the transmission went out. Again, due to me being a dumbass. Um, so the truck sat for two years with the transmission tore up. And one day I just got tired of it. And I said, you know, my truck is set for two years. I miss driving my truck. I felt like a boss in my truck. My truck's just sitting becoming a wasp, a, a sitting wasp nest. So I pulled the truck forward, jacked it up, pulled the transmission out in the driveway, took it and got it rebuilt, bought rims and tires for it. Uh, <laughs> And it really was supposed to just be wheels and tires, but the headlights were fogged up. The tail lights had water in them. Yeah, I remember. Um, it just turned into a snowball project, and it's not done. I don't think it will ever be done. I still say it looks pretty damn good, though. You see, you you notice this when you going down the street. You're like, damn, like that'd be nice. It's black and you got the perfect amount of chrome accents. You ain't got that extra. You got that top. You got the chrome rims. You got the chrome strip on the running boards and the door handles. That's all you need. True. Black grill. You know, they, of course they're going to see the lights. I mean, it's, it's, I love it. I hated it. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, I, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, I know I always love this truck because at one point in time, I hated this truck. Ain't Every right. time I said something about fixing this truck, even not fixing it up, just fixing the truck so I could drive it, this guy was like, man, why don't you run it across the scale, man? Just sell it. You need to run it across the scale, man. Don't fix that truck, man. Leave that truck alone and just junk it. But then when I started working on the truck and I put the wheels on it, I sent him a picture of the truck. Um, I sent him a picture of the truck and I zoomed in on the lugs and sent him the lugs. And I think his response was something as simple as, ooh. And he loved it after that. So I sent him pictures of the lights before the lights were installed. He actually came to the house and saw the lights in the box and was like, this is interesting. Yeah. So started doing stuff to the truck. 
put some little music in the truck. It ain't nothing fancy. It's just something, something to get by. Something to get by. Something for me to listen to my little music and and put a smile on my face. You know, I'm an old cat, so sometimes I like to listen to Kenny G. You know. <laughs> Kenny G screwed up, chopped and screwed. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> and had the truck. I only say that he had the opportunity to trade this truck hand in hand, slip for slip. And what were you going? And what did you have to trade for it exactly? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Well, no, oh no, no. Tell the people. So what? 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 What was on the table? What offer was on the table? Two thousand two Pontiac Trans Am WS six speed car. You know you ain't gonna be able to do it with the water on. Oh, 2006 Pontiac Trans Am WS6. It was a six speed car. And it had open headers. Man. Man, he loves his truck, y'all. What do you look like you're doing something down there, boy? Fucking man, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You doing that shit from the phone, dog? Come on, man. Step y'all game up. PSA. Hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on the nigga finger, little bitch. I done flew one out to Spain to be in my domain, automotive bitch.